वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर थ्री रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द स्टेप्स ऑफ अकाउंटिंग प्रोसेस आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्शन्स प्रिपेयरिंग सोर्स डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड देन रिकॉर्डिंग इट इन द जर्नल एंड देन पोस्टिंग इट टू द लेजर बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन एविडेंस मीन्स कैश मीमो बिल्स पे इन स्लिप्स एट्सेट्रा नाउ दीज आर कॉल्ड एविडेंस डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट इज द सोर्स डॉक्यूमेंट्स इफ देर इज नो एविडेंस देन वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर ए वाउचर दिस वाउचर इज प्रिपेयर बाय द कंपनी शोइंग द अप्रूवल ऑफ द कंपनी एंड दीज वाउचर्स आर प्रिपेयर in a chronological order chronological means date wise order now what are accounting vouchers there can be different kind of vouchers first cash vouchers next debit vouchers credit vouchers journal etc all these type of vouchers are preserved for a particular period of time for the purpose of audit and tax audit means checking of the accounts as accounts are computerized these days we allot codes for debit and credit all the transaction vouchers which have one debit and one credit and there can be other type of vouchers also they are first transaction voucher in this case we write voucher number first and then we write the date then we write the debit account that is the account which has to be debited and then we write the amount in the credit account which has to be credited and then we write the amount in figures and words then there are two signatures first the person who has authorized this voucher and the person who has prepared this voucher then there can be compound vouchers compound voucher means any voucher with multiple debit or credit but with single credit or debit to explain it if there are two accounts in the debit and one in the credit it will be called compound voucher and if there is one debit and multiple credit it is also called compound voucher then the next is complex voucher complex voucher mean where there are multiple debits and multiple credits like three accounts in debit two accounts in credit or vice versa in this case they are known as complex vouchers but please remember narrations are a must in every transaction because they explain what has happened in that entry what are the qualities of a good voucher different voucher should be of different colors like yellow voucher for debit blue voucher for credit and so on anybody can choose any color on these vouchers we have to write name date serial number and what are the accounts to be debited or credited and then we have to write the amount in words and figures and again the narrations must be there and signatures must be there of the person authorized and the person approving it let us see the next topic which is accounting equation this is a very important topic because it will explain all the accounts in one go now this is also called statement of equality which means debit will be equal to credit accounting equation is assets is equal to capital plus liabilities which means whatever money we have invested that is capital 
and whatever money we have borrowed that is liability both when equated makes the asset of the business. So, this is also known as balance sheet equation assets are which the business owns and liabilities are which the business owes that is business has to give it back assets are for the business. Let us see some examples of accounting equation. First, Mr. X started business with cash. Now, in this case assets that is cash will increase and on the liability side capital will increase. So, there is an increase in cash and increase in capital. So, both way they are equated. Yes, the second example furniture purchased by check. In this case, one asset furniture will increase and another asset bank will decrease. So, any transaction will equate both the side. So, we see that in case of accounting equation, whatever is the entry, it will always equate the equation. Now, there are multiple effect entries in accounting equation also. Let us see those goods of 25,000 sold for 30,000. Now, this entry is going to affect three points. First, goods 25,000 will be subtracted, cash 30,000 will increase and we have earned a profit of 5,000 which will increase our capital. So, you see on the asset side 25,000 is minus 30,000 is plus. So, the net effect is 5,000 plus and on the other side capital has also increased by 5,000. So, again the equation is telling. So, you see all the entries tally this equation that is why this is called balance sheet equation accounting equation. Now, let us understand another very important aspect of accounting that is debit and credit. As you know this double entry system was started by Lucas S. Pacioli an Italian mathematician. So, he first used these words debit and credit. He said every transaction has two effects one debit one credit and we make an account with shape T format. T format on the left hand side we show the debit side on the right hand side we show the credit side. So, left is debit right is credit and the difference is the balance it can be debit it can be credit if the debit side is more the difference will be debit if the credit side is more the difference will be credit yes. Now, let us understand the rules of debit and credit there are five rules first assets if it increase it will be debited if it decrease it will be credited liabilities opposite if it increase it will be credit if it decrease it will be debit revenue sales increase when credit decrease when debit expenses increase debit decrease credit and capital again increase credit and decrease debit. Now, how to remember all these things? Those things which have a debit balance will always increase when debit and will decrease when credit very simple. Similarly, those things which have credit balance will always increase when credit and will decrease when debit because the balance will increase on the same side and decrease on the opposite side. Okay. Now, let us check what you have understood in this accounting equation. 
we will discuss few entries. Point number one, purchase goods on credit. Now, goods will increase and liability that is creditor will also increase. Next, rent paid by check. Now, we are paying check. So, bank will decrease and rent is an expense which will decrease our profit indirectly it will decrease my capital. So, bank account decrease and capital account decrease fine. Next entry deposited money in the bank cash will come down and bank will go up one asset coming down one asset going up equation again tell is next purchased a car for personal use. Now, car is for personal use not for the business. So, you are paying money from the business. So, cash will go down or the bank will go down and here your capital is also decreasing because you are withdrawing the money for personal use. So, when you pay the money in business your capital increase when you withdraw it it will decrease definitely. Next very important point is salary outstanding. Please see you have not paid salary, but still you have to pay. So, it is an expense. So, expense will definitely reduce your capital. So, first effect is capital get reduced, but because we have not paid cash. So, it is a liability. So, we have to pay it. So, our liability is increasing. So, both the effects are on the liability side one liability increasing salary outstanding and one liability decreasing that is capital because it is an expense. Similarly, the next point insurance prepaid we have paid more insurance definitely cash is going out, but insurance prepaid means it is an asset for us next time we do not have to pay that much amount. So, one asset decreasing that is cash and one asset increasing that is insurance prepaid which will be other current assets right. Goods costing 12,000 sold for 15,000. Now, goods are reduced by 12,000 cash is increased by 15,000. Now, 3000 is profit this will increase our capital by 3000. Next, rent received 5000. Now, we are receiving the rent cash is increasing and rent received is my income. This will increase my capital. So, cash increase capital increase rent received. Next, cash withdrawn for personal use cash is coming down and because I am using it for personal purpose definitely my capital get reduced. So, cash minus capital minus next motorcycle for personal use. Now, again it is for personal use personal use means capital will come down right and money is being paid by the business. So, cash will also go down. See the next one very very important paid 900 in full settlement of 1000. So, you have to pay 1000, but you are paying 900. So, you are earning and profit of how much 100 rupees. So, now cash minus 900 and 1000 will be deducted from the liability creditors because ultimately your creditors get settled for 1000, but they are getting 900. So, 100 rupees profit you are making profit means capital increase yes capital plus 100 creditor minus 1000 and cash minus 900. Similarly, the next one received 2800 in full settlement of 3000. Now, you are receiving less this is a loss 
your capital get reduced by 200, but cash increased by 2800 and 3000 will be deducted from debtors. Yes, out of 3000 you are able to get only 2800. So, this results in a loss which reduce your capital by 200. Let us see the next one depreciation on plant 5000. Depreciation is an expense, expense will reduce the capital 5000 and the value of plant also goes down by 5000, because depreciation means the value of plant has decreased by 5000. So, plant minus 5000, capital minus 5000. I hope it is clear. Let us check your knowledge whether you have understood or not. If capital is 50,000 and liabilities are 20,000, then assets are how much? Yes, 70,000, because capital plus liability is equal to assets. Next point, if assets are 14,000, and capital is 9000, then liabilities are yes 5000, because assets is equal to capital plus liabilities, right. If liabilities are 15000 and assets are 22000, then capital is yes 7000, because assets is equal to liability plus capital. So, students in this session, we have discussed about types of vouchers, multiple vouchers, compound vouchers etcetera and what is debit, what is credit and a very important point accounting equation. In the next lecture, we are going to tell you about books of original entries that is journal ledger etcetera. Till then goodbye and thank you very much.